Good afternoon. Please rise and remain standing for the national anthem recorded earlier by the Hazen Chamber Choir, directed by Josh Files. Good afternoon, guests, staff, and the class of 2021. My name is Kate O'Brien, and I have the privilege of serving as the principal of Hazen High School. On behalf of the Renton School District, welcome to the commencement exercises for the 52nd graduating class of Hazen High School. Please help me welcome some of our distinguished guests who are with us this afternoon. First, from the Renton School District Board of Directors, we have Board President Elisa Louie, and Board Director Dr. Avanki Bergquist. We are also honored to have from the Renton School District our Superintendent Dr. Damian Patton and Chief of Secondary Schools, Vicki Damon. From Hazen, we have Assistant Principals Terrell Hardke and Ashley Gambrell. At this time, please enjoy our traditional Hazen commencement musical selection, Loch Lamond, pre-recorded by the Hazen Chamber Choir.
At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our senior speaker, Jayla Perkins, with the opening address. I would just first like to say how honored, ooh, let me take my mask off. <laughs> I would just like to say how honored I am to be speaking in front of all of you on such a beautiful day and on an historical day, since it is the first year Juneteenth is celebrated as a national holiday. So with that, I would just like to say good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, and my fellow 2021 graduates. I would like to kick off my speech by giving all of you an astounding congratulations. By all of you, I mean all of you. Staff for their diligence with online learning, families for supporting us through the past year and the many changes, and most importantly, my peers for making it to this glorious day that we have all dreamed of despite the obstacles that have come our way. Milestones of this much greatness are always worth celebrating, regardless of whether or not we pictured our graduation to look the way that it does. As we return to life as we know it, I find that reflection is a huge element in understanding how great of an achievement this really is and what it means for all of us from here on out. Last year, our world was turned completely upside down. I mean, it's not like there's a TikTok hack to facing a global pandemic, fighting racial injustice, adjusting to virtual learning, witnessing a huge dividing election, and even more head spinning curveballs. Amongst the worldwide chaos, many of us have had our own personal turmoil, whether it was a parent losing a job, a loved one or yourself in a battle with one's physical and or mental health, struggling with online classes, or even coping with the loneliness many of us battled for months in quarantine. Whatever your personal experience was, it's no surprise if at some point you felt buried by your own circumstances and maybe even hopeless. However, we are all present today, and that means that we all shared one particular commonality in the heat of the unknown. That is the will to stay in motion. Earlier this year in my physics class, we discussed Sir Isaac Newton and his three laws of motion. Law one states that a body in motion will remain in motion unless it is acted upon by an external force. Basically, the law states that a moving object 
will stop moving if an outside force acts upon it. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but like all of you, I am receiving a high school diploma today, and I think that means that I have enough ground to say that Newton was extremely incorrect. Well, in our case, at least. We are presented with two options. Let our existential crises in the unknown drown and inhibit us, or make the world work for us despite our crises and continue movement. Obviously, we all chose the latter. What I'm getting at here is that sometimes you have to act without completely being sure if it means that your full potential is on the line. We all chose to stay in motion in the pursuit of success, and that we did. Outside of last year's challenges, life has and will always present obstacles and opportunities of great magnitude. Sometimes that makes us hesitate, but you cannot stop motion. Whether you feel ill-equipped or just flat out scared, you do not know your strength until you throw yourself into the deep end and keep going. Today we are at a commencement ceremony. Commencement is defined as a starting point which refers to the beginning of a course of action, a course in which motion takes place to your next step, whether that's college, the military, the workforce, or maybe even just taking more time to figure that out. Whatever this next phase of motion holds, it is critical that you also dedicate yourself to a core set of values, values that last. We are so unbelievably lucky to graduate from a school that preaches substantial principles such as pride, unity, and achievement. These three concepts illustrate that when we work together, we can rewrite what is possible and create impactful contributions to humanity ones that promote the well-being of everyone. The world needs more PUA, and Highlanders, we are the ones to provide it. The world never stops spinning because our, our days and nights depend on its motion. However, the world depends on our motion as its inhabitants, our actions and our words, our motion to keep persistence and fight for it to be a better place. So in my last few remarks, graduates, I urge you to find something that makes you lose sleep at night, something that makes you want to put your foot on the gas. Challenge the fear of the unknown by walking straight into it. Our passions outweigh our fears. And most importantly, move with intent and move with kindness. What is success without vision or caring for others along the way? So with that, stay in motion and congratulations to the class of 2021. Go Highlanders, and thank you so much. She really rocked it, right? It's good. Yeah. Uh, at this time, I would like to welcome to, sorry, the stage, Dr. Damien Patnod, the superintendent of Written Schools with his remarks for the class of 2021. What a tough act to follow in terms of Jalen. What made it even more impressive is you managed to keep your hat on while the wind was blowing, trying to blow it off. Let's give Jalen one more round of applause. She hit it out the park. And I wanted to wait till the last ceremony this weekend to actually do this. So if you can just give me one uh, just brief second of personal privilege. I know that this may not be the graduation ceremony that we hoped for, but there were a whole bunch of people, not me, who worked on making this possible. And all the planning and the shifting guidance and pulling this off, they've been here for seven graduations over the last 30 hours and have done a lot of prep work. So for anyone responsible for making this happen, like Tony wrote and I see you over there chatting and Vicki Damon and Adam Rosencrantz, some names that might not mean anything to anyone, but if we could just give them a round of applause for all of their hard work. And I'm standing up here like I'm somehow special because I'm the superintendent, because I, I know that none of these graduates sitting in 75 degree heat on the field have any interest in what I'm gonna have to say. And I know a lot of you in the crowd are like, hurry the heck up and get off of here. 
And it's humbling when your wife sends you a text at the end of May when she's in Roanoke, Virginia for our niece's graduation. And this is what she texted me. She said, there are a lot of things that people miss during the pandemic, but the superintendent giving a speech at graduation is clearly not one of them because the, the superintendent did not speak at that ceremony. So I know I need to hurry up and get out of the way so that we can focus on these young people down here. But I do want to give some more thanks really quickly, and it is to the people who are sitting behind the graduates and up in the stands. And first, to the family and friends with us, on behalf of the Renton School District and Hazen High School, thank you for your love, time, support, encouragement, and discipline that you have provided and was critical to helping these young people get here today. And another group deserving of a sincere thank you of not only all of us in attendance today, but for our entire community, is the outstanding staff at Hazen High School. The last 15 months, you have demonstrated a level of professionalism and commitment to service that is impressive. You have helped to support our students, families, the broader rent community, and each other in navigating this pandemic. I am blessed to have the opportunity to serve as your superintendent and it is my great, great pleasure to say thank you. Students and families in attendance tonight, will you please join me in thanking our teachers, paraprofessionals, support staff, nutrition services workers, bus drivers, custodians, facilities and ground staff, and the countless others for their work this school year and throughout your time in the Renton School District. And now to the reason why we're here, the seniors. And as Jayla's speech pointed out, there will, a lot, there will be a lot written about these last two years. However, I just want to spend a few minutes not looking backwards, but rather forward. Graduations not only celebrate the past, but also look to the future, a future you are stepping into when you cross this stage and receive your diploma a future that is bright with opportunities for individual success. However, more importantly, a future that is brimming with the opportunity to do great things for your community and to do better than those that have come before you. As superintendent, I have often said that if we truly want each student to be successful, then each of us is going to start to have to love, we're gonna start, we're gonna start to have to love other people's kids pretty darn close to how much we love our own. And I think the last 15 months have taught me that this extends beyond kids. We are going to have to start loving other people pretty darn close to how much we love those in our own family. This will be one of your opportunities, class of 2021. You have the opportunity to show us, who are older than you, how to do this right. You have the opportunity to extend an olive branch and speak with people who might have different political beliefs or backgrounds. You have the opportunity to not retreat to your bubble, but to step outside and find common ground with those you may have thought there was not an opportunity for mutual understanding. Whether someone lives in Skyway, downtown Renton, the Highlands, Newcastle, on the South Hill, or wherever, you have the opportunity to find the humanity in each person you come into contact with, to know that the future success of our community, this state, and our nation is dependent on coming together rather than finding reasons to separate and isolate ourselves from each other, to understand that we all have frailties and faults, to understand that we might not all agree on every topic, but these frailties and faults and disagreements must never cause us to ignore or fail to acknowledge the gifts and talents and humanity of any person sitting across from us. Your individual success will mean very little if you do not take the chance to uplift and love all the members in our community. This is the opportunity of a lifetime, class of 2021, and I'm excited to see how you seize this opportunity once you walk across this stage and step into your future. I wish you nothing but the very best. Congratulations.
Good afternoon, class of 2021. My students, for the very last hour that you are my students, I welcome you today to celebrate your accomplishments, acknowledge the growth you have made in your four years at Hazen, and on behalf of the entire Hazen staff, share my distinct pride in watching you reach this milestone. This ceremony is certainly not what most of us envisioned or planned when we began your school careers as kindergartners or even as ninth graders. I know that it is bittersweet to be here with only half of your class, as determined by where you fall in the alphabet, and potentially not even all of your closest friends and family members in the stands. I know that the alterations we've made to the commencement ceremony could possibly be just one more disappointment in a long list of disappointments you've endured because of the pandemic. And I personally know the sadness of being separated by those you love and care about during major milestones. As just last week, I myself had a virtual graduation at the University of Washington. And quite honestly, it really sucked. All this being said, if there is any learning I've internalized from the pandemic, it's that we must take time to adequately mourn the losses, we must find gratitude for the small victories and blessings, and we must move through challenges with love. And so on with the gratitude. Today I'm immensely grateful for the willingness of many staff members who work diligently to set up and host this event. I'm grateful for the advancements in technology and those working to broadcast our ceremony for our community and family who remain at home. I'm incredibly grateful that each of you in the rows graduating, in the stands, and sitting behind me are all here, healthy, hopeful, and ready to move forward post-pandemic. I'm so grateful that our staff is here on a Saturday, on a federal holiday that is Juneteenth, showing up to celebrate your accomplishments outside of traditional work time. And I'm grateful that each of you found the strength, the commitment, the endurance, the motivation, and the endless determination to show up to the marathon slog that was Zoom learning, despite any and all of the circumstances that surrounded you. It was not fun. Quite honestly, we know that also sucked. I do encourage each of you to find some small parts of your senior year to be grateful for. Perhaps that's getting to sleep in a lot, all day, every day for some of you. Perhaps you are grateful for the opportunity to tell your teachers that they were on mute 367 times per class period. Perhaps you're grateful for the new lighting scheme in your bedroom, inspired by Mr. Taylor's at-home teaching setup. It's fabulous lighting. Or perhaps it's for the time you did get to spend with each other in the smaller moments, connecting about all the things you planned to do once this was all over. It is not only gratitude, but love that was at the center of those moments and love that is going to be necessary to move you forward through the inevitable challenges ahead. Now acclaimed writer Bell Hooks says, a woman who talks about love is still seen as suspect. So stay with me here a moment. Oftentimes love is defined as a noun and is associated with overt vulnerability or even weakness. In reality, the pandemic combined with a divisive election year and extreme national unrest has proven that love is the strongest verb. Love is the mightiest action. Love is the greatest force that we have at our disposal. It costs nothing and is therefore accessible to all. Love can disarm the escalated without weaponry. Love can heal the sick without medicine. Love is the center, the core of our movement and commitment to social justice. Love is the center, the core of the Pride Month that we are celebrating. Love is the soul of Black Lives Matter. Love is what has kept you all and all of us connected to Hazen, connected to each other, despite the social distancing, despite the black Zoom boxes, despite the losses that we have endured. And as your principal, I am not supposed to say this, but it's not the learning you've done in your years at Hazen that matters most. It's actually the love that you have for one another for your people in the stands and at home, 
for this place and this community that will serve you best in the lives that await you. Class of 2021. Ooh. It's happening earlier this time. Go out there and be fierce, be amazing, be the epitome of pride, of unity, and achievement. But most of all, be grateful and lead and learn with love. I promise you that that will not suck. I love you, class of 2021. Congratulations. At this time, please welcome Renton School Board Director and Hazen alumni, Dr. Avanki Bergquist. Did y'all catch that, that Principal O'Brien had her commencement last weekend? She tried to sneak it past me again, but can we please give her a round of applause for being Dr. O'Brien. Thank you, it really is such a big deal. So hello, Hazen Highlanders. On behalf of your school board, we are so proud of you. Your perseverance through being the school at the epicenter of a global pandemic has been nothing short of inspiring. You, your staff, your families, and our whole district community have been remarkable. And today, on Juneteenth, where we honor the resilience of black Americans, we are also honoring your resilience as a class. But really, it's no surprise, because as the mural outside of the Hazen Cafeteria says, through these walls walk the greatest people in the world, the Hazen Highlanders. So as a school board, we are happy to be able to be here with you in person. Congratulations, Hazen graduates. And as a Fellander Highlander myself, welcome to the Alumni Club. We can't wait to see how you make us proud. Okay, this is the presentation of the class. Board Director Burquist, as the principal of Hazen High School and the power invested in me by the Renton School District Board of Directors and the State of Washington, I am pleased to present the 52nd graduating class of Oliver M. Hazen High School and certify that they have met all district and state requirements for graduation. On behalf of the State of Washington and the Renton School District, I am pleased and honored to accept the Hazen High School Class of 2021. Congratulations. <laughs> Distinguished guests, it is my pleasure to present to you the Class of 2021. I would like to remind our audience to be respectful so we can hear every person's name, um, and applaud them appropriately as we move them across the stage. Gold gowns, I put you in charge. Maya Metzger. Jasmine Wynn. Sean Pond. Stephanie Yuen Fan.
Michael Schwamborn. Emma Tensinger. Gary Tu. Angela Yu. Melia Elaine Dolan Briscoe. Aiden Marines. Alberto Martinez Cortez. Angel Martinez. Rory Martin. Enrique Martinez. Joanna Martinez Vargas. Liberty Eve Martin. Trevor Mason. Juliana Matias. Malcolm McAdams. Hazel McMillan. Olivia McPherson. Blake Medsker. Juan Mendez. Juana Mendez. Guadalupe Mendoza Cortez. Leonardo Mendoza Gonzalez. Pablo Mendoza. Mary Lucille Moe. Lydia Montalvo Gomez. Kai Moore. Rodrigo Damian Moreno. Kara Morris. Adrian Munoz Ariano. Malcolm Nelson. Kenny No. Mark No. Tony No. On Win. Andy Wen. Diane Wen. Dawn Wen. Alina May De La Cruz Wen. Eric Wen. Haley Wynn. Hugh Wynn. Jacqueline Wynn. Jesse Wynn. Karina Wynn. Leslie Wynn. 
Lillian Wynn. Min T. Wynn. Thank you. Mikan Wynn. Ryan Wynn. Vin Tan Wynn. Julia Ann Nypert. Ashley Lily Na. Alexis Casey Ocampo. Dakota Aquell. Shelby Aquell. Jalen O'Connell. Gray Olson. Sarah Jane Olson. Caden Ong. Gideon Lagasse. Rayon Paul Kivala. Evangelos Pambucas. Anna Perez Prada. Hector Perez Valencia. Miguel Perez Gomez. Tyler Perry. Emily Pham. Justin Pham. <laughs> Tiffany Fan. <laughs> Alex Pickford. <laughs> Tanner Powell. <laughs> Nadia Pramaj. Ali Prop. Jose Luis Ramirez. Alan Racinos Lopez. Alexandra Reed. Brooke Reynolds. Dylan Reynolds. Gabriella Rigtrup. Jimena Rijos Hernandez. Jacob Robert. Kevin Rocha. Paola Rodiles Ceja. Giovanni Rojas Verduzco. Brian Martin. Jayla Nicole Perkins. Alexandra Lynn Rory. Daniel Rosales Sotero.
Michaela Rosario. Renee Rulo. Daniel Ruiz Martinez. Giselle Ruiz Martinez. Jordi Ruiz. Harrison Rule. Brian Sabido. Tria Seichal. Kyle Sammer. Leilani Sanchez. Melanie Sanchez. Salvador Sanchez Fuentes. Rigo Sandoval. Kai Sasaki. Sydney Schott. Eric Schroeder. Michael Serrao. Devin Sheets. Jaden Scholl. Austin Sayers. Monica Simoni. Ruala Sirbu. Sanudi Siriwardana. Chris Soares. Viviana Sotelo Hernandez. Audrey Stearns. Amelia Stair. Miles Steffens. Ben Stork. Owen Subayuk Paredes. Eugenie Swen. Jamal Talil. Leinani Makamai Tandel. (laughs) 
Andy Tott. Kaleni Tavakia. Elijah Taylor. Emma Taylor. Herman Teckel. Johan Tello. Riley Thomas. Adam Thompson. Keat Toe. Kimberly Toribio Lopez. Kevin Torres. Brittany Tran. Emily Tran. Helen Tran. Jason Tran. Tyler Tran. Tyler Tran. Valentina Tran. Fiona Truong. <laughs> Emmy Ufford. Mm -hmm. Sky Russell Ulrich. <laughs> Cleo Usher. <laughs> Roberto Vargas. Hema Vasquez Munoz. Aubrey Jaylene Vega. Ella Vermeer. Jacob Vetter. Nicole Ashley Vicente. Chad Vidikin. Dan Vo. Justin Vo. Christine Vo. Sheng Kai Vong. Dev Wadhua. Azaria R. Walker. Simone Watson. Jason Webster. Benjamin Wellington. <laughs> Madeline Werner. <laughs> Alex Wick. <laughs> Christopher Wigestrand. Eva Williams.
Tanner Williams. Carlos Jordan Womack. Aiden Wong. Bennett Wong. Brendan Wong. Melina Denise Wong. Matthew Woodruff. Brian Yu. Monica Yu. Robert Zamora. Jose Luis Zapata. Carlos Giovanni Zarate. Omar Zepeda Garcia. Jeremy Zurbano. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Maya Metzger, and I'm your senior class president. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited to be here today. Seniors, please stand. Now is the time for the turning of the tassel. This represents our transition from students at Hazen High School to graduates of Hazen High School. Members of the class of 2021, please turn your tassels from the left to the right. Congratulations, everyone. Make their way out of the stadium. 